Hello, Sarah Lynn Dawson. How are you? I'm great. How are you? All right, thank you. So you have written something that is very deep and metaphysical and challenging. Please tell me about its origins. Tell me about the origins of duality. <clears throat> well, it was originally, uh, my idea was that it was about a guy who is experiencing something and as he goes along, he finds out exactly what it is. So he goes on a, a journey and it's about choice. So it's about he comes to realize that he has to make the choice of where he wants to be and where he wants to go and um, that was the original basis for it. And then when I worked on the script I realized that you could really develop that and have two different universes with different properties and lots of different things. But because we were in a short it was um, a lot of it was visual and I think that's where Ahmad was brilliant because he managed to express so much with his cinematography and his visuals that it just came out um, like amazing. It did indeed. There are two distinct universes. Now how did you delineate them when you were writing the project because it's so visual but how did you do it on the page? Well in my head I just always knew what I was doing and it wasn't actually till we went into production I thought oh my gosh I think I'm confusing everybody so what I had to do is I had to really put like a, you know the scene headings you normally just put this what the scene is and the place but I actually had to put which universe it was right the way through the script so that production could understand where we were and what was going on so in my head I always knew but for everybody else I had to actually say that so we had modern and tribal just to kind of make sure everybody was on the same page do we inhabit multiple universes in this reality um in our reality yeah Go I for think, it. Go I for think it. so. I think so. I sometimes walk between, you know, in my daily life, I'm walking around going, where, where, where am I? You know, even if you go to someone's home and it's different, I feel like you kind of walk into a different universe. What about putting yourself into these two universes? Um, what challenges does that present to you as an actress as well as a writer? Um, Actor, pardon me. Well, as an actor, it's easier because I already know the whole thing, so I don't have to do any research or look into backstories or anything, and I already know what all the other characters are, so that's very easy. Um, the interesting thing about being an actor is that I actually had to learn the lines. Even though I wrote them, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I use a different part of my brain, because when I was... Um, acting, I had to sit there and have somebody run the lines with me. And I was right. thinking, I wrote these, why don't I know them? <laughs> but it, that was very interesting for me. Well, how about conveying the emotions, too, as well? Like, what, what do you need to do to psych yourself up for a role like this? Um, I've been acting a long time, so from the acting is very easy. Mm -hmm. um, and once you get in costume and you're on the set and you're in the moment, it's even easier. So it just you just absorb it. And Emerald. Why is she named Emerald? Or is that a secret? I love the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just I really love the name Emerald. And um, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, she's sort of a gem in Danny's life. Is that perhaps part of it? Um, maybe. I didn't even think of it like that. It's actually when I've been writing the feature, I've actually d d like looked more into emeralds and properties of emeralds and gemstones and a lot of things. And it was actually a good choice of mine to call her Emerald for the feature. But um, at the time, I was just like, oh, that's a cool name. So. Emerald City, eh? It's a exactly. Good, it has a history, yeah. That's actually funny you should say that because um, when I was writing the feature version, I have uh, actually started to write it by drawing like a big picture with all my thoughts yeah. and one of the things I put on there was Emerald City. Oh, so well, That's uh, about two universes too. Yeah. The, yeah. The Oz and Kansas. You know, so. it's, uh, you're actually right and um, yeah I should rewatch that. You're in that. good company then <laughs> production wise with The Wizard of Oz and that's pretty good. Yeah it's not too bad is it? Alright so one more. Um, you're developing duality into a feature at this mm -hmm. time so what are you encountering as you're developing it, stretching it, making it into something that's the same but bigger? more dynamic? Oh, I had a lot more time, as a writer I had a lot more time to look into the science and I worked with a quantum physicist that I met through Deepak Chopra right. and uh, I could call him up and I was like what about this and what about this and I was constantly calling him and he was so amazing and he would just answer all my questions so I could really look at the science behind things and yeah. I had somebody to ask questions like you know is gravity different why would this and what happens with the nuclear forces and it was great it was so I got to learn I feel like I went to science school or something, I don't know, <laughs> I learned a whole, like, it was very educational to write it. That's astounding. Yeah, it was very interesting. Is, um, uh, is Deepak's presence on the film helping you with any particular aspects of writing it? Um, it is, because I think Deepak Chopra is amazing, and he's such a, 
like a guru. So whenever I, it sort of makes me feel like I have a responsibility to make sure that the film is like a great standard, you know, because he's involved. So um, yeah, he, it's just been like, it's been great. He raises involved. the consciousness. Yes, he literally, does. He, he literally lit does. <laughs> Very good. It's true. Well, thank you. Thank, oh, thank you, you so much. much. And I look forward to seeing it develop. And in the meantime, the short is astounding. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations.